We got... Hope to see you. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supp Oh god, it's over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come- Easy, Vice. Hey, it's my wife. She left home- I'm so worried, I can't even focus on- oh, That's terrible. Really? Sure. Er, hmm. Well, she always... All right, then I guess we'll... Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way... I've met some odd couples in my day. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm a... Are you now? In... She hasn't been home and her husband... <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Anyway, the short answer is no. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try... I'll do that. Hey, what's the rush? You've got it. Uh, sorry, ma'am. What is it this time, cutie? You change your mind about. Uh, s still. Hey there. 
Do you know a, a red bag? A last time she came around, she mentions leaving town, huh? If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Something about that shade seems rather... odd. Hey! It is identical to the reds. Perhaps it belongs to... It. Oh no! I fear it likely, lad. Well, this is terrible. However difficult it may be... We didn't, but... Oh no! So our fears... Oh god! <laughs> If I may, my good man... It's because... I think we should give him some time. I went and dropped it like that. Oh, this is such a relief. <laughs> okay, seriously. What's going on? I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um, lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. I can't believe... 
believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. You are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bat. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Oh, did I? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did. And I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon? Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Big talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me! I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not a vice. What do I do? You turn on your heel and... That's it. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in... Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. I have no idea what just trans- Well, looks like they made up, so- In the course of all that madness, I have- Oh, heck, the canal! We- I can't thank you- Uh, sure, but listen- All oh, right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be- That was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Care for some important. Thanks for your business. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return.
We've got some. Thank. Make sure you stock up. Come back anytime. Sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us... Thanks, guys. Hey, wait! Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Pobla. She didn't say what it was about, but she... said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona. Please? Great. Fine. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? No, it isn't. Shut up! these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? This is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. 
We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please. Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Kinda sure is she must have nerves of Like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Idea haunted.
What's this? The picture has changed. Shades! What foul hole did they crawl from? You're a male. Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <clears throat> but enough of this introductory chatter. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable... Anyway, I suppose my butler might know... This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please. Don't trouble yourself. Oh, right. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. The butler's quarters are... Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. Or at least a remarkable like. I knew this was a trap. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Shades! that. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I... <laughs> I doubt... We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I... Re As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lap. Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, it's okay. See here, lad. This people need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests. A thousand. Th Petrify your enemies. That's got to be some help, right? I can't let you do this on your own, so I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once.
This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah. I do not like anything about this place. You, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. This infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? this
petrify it! beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this... Fuck! This book is a real asshole! She's not even listening. She's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go! This is my fight! I can't ask you to die for me! My, aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. And besides, we'd never let you do that! Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? I guess so. Vice, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble to find it. Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle it. I shall put all of my effort, no matter how long it takes. Sebastian... Ah, so the... Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand?
promise I'll never give up, Kaine. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think I would be delighted? Goodbye, everyone. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Hussy! Look. Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. Come back soon. It may take time, but I...